stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. The Pledge of Allegiance is to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <coughs> have a uh, moment of silence for uh, Elmer Becker, who was a trustee for a number of years. Uh, and we'll stand up for that. And uh, who died uh, in a farming accident last month. item is approval of special board meeting minutes dated October 22nd, 2015. Make a motion to approve minutes for October 22nd, 2015. I'll second. second. Okay, any discussion? No. Paul? Yes. Mike Mack? Yes. Ted? Yeah. Mike Stiller? Yes. Mark? Yeah. Okay, now we'll uh, open up for public commentary. Okay, reports. Road Commissioner. In my red report, I'll go over a little bit. Uh, we did get our 88 Mac back from the frame shop. It took about a month, a little over a month, before we put two, four new frame rails on. We done a decent, decent job. I think the bill came in 2,500 bucks, or it's a little under what they estimated, because we took the box off, so we didn't have to drag that down here, so. Um, putting the box on now, and we have Probably tomorrow with the train and we'll be back on the truck. Corning Road project, fast fiasco or whatever you want to call it. Um, we're planning on getting it all done this year with our chip. Well, we hit from about Stats driveway to the east to the bridge. And we hauled probably over 300 loads of black dirt out of the middle of the road. It just was a foot and a half deep and it was a flat black dirt in Washington Township. Must have blown there many years ago and <laughs> covered it up with four inches of stone. <laughs> and then they tarred chips. So that's why the road didn't hold. Talked to a couple different engineers and talked to the county. And I said, if you don't get the black dirt out, you can put two foot of stone on there. It's going to come back and haunt you. So. And once you get anything over a foot of stone, you can't believe it's settled over a window. <coughs> it's tightened up. But today we've done all, all the dirt work is done. Hopefully next week, if it's nice, one more day, I'm going to plant grass. And we have another two inches of stone to go on it after that's all done. So I think you get ready to, for the winter. Patching's going on. That's a continuous. Um, we'll start cutting roadsides. I know some people are getting a, get a few phone calls and questions on that. Um, we're not any later than, I think last year we started right at Thanksgiving, but we have to wait for the farmers to get out of the fields. And uh, they're 
finishing up this week should be, there's not much left in the township anymore. But uh, so next, and the next week we'll probably be starting up mow road sites. And that'll be from fence line to fence line, so everything will be mowed up. Uh, we're on with two tractors. Will Township is, we're working with Will Township, and they're bringing their big tractor and more and ours. And so it should take about seven days, is what it usually does with two more. Um, we finished day one signal coating on our roads this year, uh, non eventful. And once everything else is done, we start the ditch work. Any questions? What did you do with the black dirt that you took? Use it most on the shoulders. Uh, of that same road? Yeah. It grows. And the ironic thing, we put it on the shoulders, and within two weeks, we had um, button weeds and cotton birds grow. So we had almost old seeds. <laughs> Did you ever consider using fabric? Very costly. Um, even a seal that uh, we talked about, you know, doing bridging some, some of that stuff. and. A foot of stone, and if you would go with four inches of asphalt on the top, it might work. But with seal coating, it has too much blast. But uh, the, also the spot that you know, everyone talked about that drain year round, you know, and stuff, and that was caused by all the black dirt under there. That's where it came to really the end, and that's where it was seeping out. So that all the black dirt got, was holding all the water, and it would seep out the bottom of the hill. Kind of interesting, really. I mean, what and the research shows what they've done years ago is when they made roads, and uh, that road was probably made 1870s, 80s, or 1880s, I should say. What they've done is they took the ditches and flipped them into the road to make the ditches, and, and then they um, went over the top of that. And well, whatever was in a ditch ended up under the road. Yep. We have another road, Eagle Lake Road was like that, but that one only had about four or five inches. This was the worst one we've seen with that much. And then, like I say, the west side, there was, there was one spot by the first house, there was a little bit, but the rest of that was the hardest play. So, when you take a foot out and half out, it takes a lot of rock and fill that back up. Oh, yeah. Any other questions? No? Uh, assessor? No report? No. Clerk? No, nothing. You want to talk this about the senior records? I would be here. Well, you can. Mm -hmm. I, got I got enough stuff. You got enough to talk about. Okay. Uh, senior records was on uh, October 24th. Uh, 110 people attended. Uh, we had food and everything. It was from Empties again. It was a big hit. Mike discussed uh, transportation. Uh, with, this, with the seniors, there was just a couple of questions, um, nothing out of the ordinary, but uh, it went well. And uh, our next event, I'm going to bring that up, our next event at Gambit Hall will be the holiday dinner on December the 8th, I believe. Is this a Tuesday? I think that's the right date. Yes. That's all. And, I, and I'm, I will try to get the, uh, I haven't talked to them yet, the uh, choir. Okay. Nice school. Uh, so any commission? Uh, yeah, they attempted to have a meeting, but they didn't have a code for the alarm. What? Yeah. I, I thought I gave him one. I talked to Dale today, he said he still had yes. that. Um, one of the individuals went to a night shift, so I'm going to have to probably replace him, because he'll never be able to make a meeting again. And then we have one of the old individuals that just still never shows up. So I don't know how we deal with that. We approach well, him. Well, what? Um, we're allowed to have up to five. We don't have to have five. Okay. Um, as, as long as it, um, you can still have to have a majority, right. regardless of what the number of commissioners are. So. Well, I didn't know if we wanted to see if we could replace them or. I. I don't. Well, the, the person that's going on the night shift. No. Well, the person going on the night shift. I already talked to him. Like, I'm probably going to replace you. And he said that's no problem. So I'm waiting okay. for his letter of resignation. But the other person just doesn't show up. Okay. Doesn't respond to emails. Doesn't. Well, that I, so would, I don't know what the procedure is on that. Oh, I, I don't think there's a procedure. You should ask him if he still wants to remain a okay. commissioner. And if he says no, then. Okay. 
And if he says yes, who doesn't show up? Well, I don't know. Yeah. Okay, okay, I'll do that. Okay. And that's it. So, um, we have to get Dale a coat. Does he have a key? I gave him a key. He's got a key. I couldn't, couldn't come any farther though, right? No. I'm sure, I think we have, I know we have some codes. Like, extra We have codes. the general code that we give to people if they use it for a meeting. Okay. We have that one we could give them if you want. Yeah. Do, you have his email, right? Yep. If you could get that code from Teresa and then sure. email it to him. Yeah. Okay. All right. Is that it? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, supervisor's report. Let's see. Uh, I'll start with the phones. The phones um, kept on getting um, pushed around, but apparently November 9th is when um, the phones are going to be installed, the new phone system. November 9th. November 9th. Uh, and there's also going to be training on the phones, and that's also, I guess, when they're going to do the switch on the phone numbers and recording and stuff. Everything. <clears throat> so, uh, and that goes from nine to. Two. That's just a time period, right? It just until they finish. I guess. Okay. Is what so the phones are here. <clears throat> they just have to. Somebody's got to come by and put them in. So then after, well then they'll they'll have all the paperwork again. To, um, so that our monthly bill is going to go from $350 or $56 down to $151, I think, which would be nice. Now, do we have to have the alarm company out here when they're doing the phones? I know last time when Comcast came out, we didn't, and then they set everything off. Just call them. I, okay. we, could, we could talk to them again, but I, I believe that the security system is on, is on a radio. Yeah, it's on a whole different thing. Okay. So it should be fine. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, all right. So so um, about this time last year, we um, I had somebody from um, the home pages ask us about ad for Washington Township. So um, now the ad last year had dial right on it. And, all, and the phone number and all that kind of stuff. So I have a reserved spot in the phone book for Washington Township. I don't know if I should say dollar right or not. <laughs> um, and it is the the cost is it's out here somewhere. It's four hundred and twenty five dollars, which is the same cost as last year. And it, it is for a five by two ad, five inches wide, two inches tall. So um, we don't, it certainly does not have to say dial or ride. It could say Washington Township, give the phone number, um, and list some services on there or something like that. I know that we did it last year. We did, we put dial or ride on there because we were continuing the dial or ride and uh, we wanted to make sure that it was advertised. So I don't know how many, I, I, they wanted to sell me an, an ad in there for my business and I, I had it in that phone book last year and Lowell, St. John, and Sherville. Zero calls from, from those yellow pages or those from the home pages. I don't know. Nobody really uses it anymore. <laughs> but. I used to place advertising there all the time too. In the past two years, I have it because whenever I'm looking for a phone number. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Sorry. I can't tell you last time I picked up a home page book or a phone book. They still do it anymore. Right. I, I don't even know where mine is from last year. So, <laughs> I, book. so I, I, I did reserve it uh, because they're, they're not going to print until December, I, middle of December. I want, I want to say the, fifth, the 13th or the 15th, something like that. So do we have any uh, thoughts on this? If, if you search for Washington Township, what do you get? There's other Washington townships besides Illinois. Yeah, probably, yeah. Well, I've been seeing, well, in Washington, and Illinois, you get two. There's one in Peoria and there's one here. But I think we're number one when it comes up. A lot of people put Washington Township feature and it pops right up. Yeah. I've tried that too. Yeah. 
I don't know if we, I don't know if we budgeted this for this last year or not. I don't recall as a separate line item. I don't think we did. Was it a part of transportation? I think it was. Yeah, we we could have. You mean for this this past year? Oh, it could be. So, I uh, I don't know. I, Does it depend on what we do with transportation? I mean, the fall newsletter comes out. <coughs> I mean, I keep that longer than I keep the phone book, and it's got all the phone our phone numbers in there, and everybody gets that free of charge. You know, basically free of charge. Well, same with the phone book, but it doesn't. It, it costs us a. It costs us, how much does it cost for uh, for the newsletter to go out? Twenty three hundred bucks to post it. So. So uh, this is like redundant then. Printing was two thousand. Postage was five hundred. So twenty five hundred bucks. Right. And then and then you get having this again, huh? You get ads back. Don't get money back for the ads. So. And then news and Or probably really not necessary. Just for Washington, I just put in a phone book. It comes our website first. Mobile friendly, um, services, clerks, I mean, it's right on the phone, from top list. And okay. all I did was Washington Township. Okay. okay. And dial rights down here, too. But. My inclination is to not have, not own this book. It, it, it keeps going up. I mean, they, they held the price. I don't know what the actual price is now, but it has gone up a lot since that book. Right. Well, I mean, I was in it the first time it came out, and it, it kept raising price. At least or doubled or tripled. Yeah. Well, it used to be the best book in town. I mean, yeah. yeah. People, I mean, Patty said it worked. You couldn't keep enough of them, and now she said we throw them away. Yeah. Well, you get more people from out of town advertising in it than you do from in town. Right. You get Lowell, you get St. Right. John, you get, yeah. you know, it's almost like going around your yellow page. Yeah. yeah. So that's why I stopped doing it. Okay. So, nix it. I recommend that, yes. Okay. It's easy. Uh, also, uh, the village of Beecher is, um, and I don't know, Paul, I don't know if you have any input on that, but the village of Beecher is considering, and I think they're going to go through with an ESDA, emergency service, something, something. Um, and uh, they want uh, the, the Fire department, the village, and um, the township to go in on this. Um, now, the fire department said that they do not have jurisdiction in, in the town for the township. Police department. What's the police department? Police department. Fire department. Also. Fire department said the same thing, though. Okay. So, so we would have to supply our own, not, not our equipment, but we would have to have volunteers, I guess. The village, the fire department saying they don't have jurisdiction in our town. For emergency services. For yes. emergency services. That's if when the tornado or something like that, even even Beecher's as a department would not have jurisdiction. Even if they start one, they will not have jurisdiction over Washington Township. Because Will right. County EMA takes over. They trump they have a trump card. Okay. Uh, Will County EMA, EMA has trump card over all police, all fire, all their their top dog in a national emergency. Disaster. If it's anything else, they have no authority. But just a natural disaster, they take charge. So the village, the village has acquired a lot of equipment through the years, and, and I don't know where they're storing it. Probably in the public works garage, but they have a lot of equipment. Um, they they felt that it would cost each entity. Uh, between a thousand and, and they're not 100 sure, but between a thousand and two thousand dollars to be to, to be put into this pot. And I said, well, what do you do with a thousand? Know, what do you do with that? Well, I guess the volunteers like to have uniforms um, and whatever else I, I, badges. I, I I don't know exactly what what that money and they don't and that's just a round. That's just a, a number grabbed out of the air. So. Um, for whatever reason, Paul, well, they said that your name was on a, on a list. Yeah, I told them I'd help them out with it. it. Basically, it's for emergencies, like a perfect example, when Mr. Becker was lost. 
um, going out there helping some like that. If there was heavy traffic, directing some traffic. Um, if there was a bad snowstorm, somebody had to be responsible coming here and opening up the building here if there were stranded people, they'd be able to sleep in here. Right. Uh, basically, as a, you know, that, that kind of was for. Uh, right, I understand what it was for. Um, um, they, they're looking for volunteers. It's, about, it's completely volunteer. Correct. So, um, I, I don't know. I told him I would volunteer. Oh, okay. All right. I, I didn't want to <laughs> put you out of spot. No, I talked to uh, Brian Klaus about it. I actually talked to uh, uh, Greg Szymanski about it this morning a little bit. Okay. And um, I told him I would definitely volunteer for that. And, you know, my third but we would, have, we would have to uh, kind of like enter into some sort of agreement or... or I don't know when this is going to start either. He was looking at a thousand dollars. He never mentioned anything more. Than well, that. Bob was going back and forth. He was, he said a thousand, then he said two thousand to me, and then he okay. it said about no more than a thousand. So I, I don't know. Like Greg told me this morning, no more than a thousand per, okay. you know, township, town, and fire. Each. Each. Yeah. So he had total three thousand. Is that per year? We don't. I don't. I don't even know if they know that yet. I mean, they have not met yet. Okay. And they do acquire a lot of the equipment too that they get for free and right. they have to hold it for one year and they can sell it. And with the money they, they're going to get from selling the equipment, they're going to use that money to keep it going is, right. their, is, is their plan. And then they got a couple Humvees that right. they got. Right. That from the people, military, yes. Yes. And they'll be able to sell those and whatever they get for that, they're going to start funding this program with it. I think it's a good idea. So, but we don't know when they're going to organize or have a they're meeting. Still, they're still discussing it themselves. Right, right, right. And the village hasn't even had it in one of their meetings yet. And it just, I believe they had a meeting on it last week, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, they did? Oh, okay. I believe so. All right. Who provides the services now? Uh, we don't have any. Will, Will, County. Will, Will County. Will County. Yes. Yeah. I think it takes so long for Will County to come out, That's you know. Um, that way, if you had this program and, and set people who, like, like, like myself, I, I live in a village, I work in a village, I can easily get there and help out right away, you know, waiting for somebody else to come up. And Will County works with, see every village has to have, I think it's mandated by law, they have to have an uh, ESDA coordinator or something with, with that. And they could work closely with Will County. I mean, it's like the fire departments, it's all mutual aid, auto aid, uh, you know, stuff like that. You, if Beecher had a mass disaster in town, Will County would come up and assist them. So the village does have it now. Right. They, they, have, a, they have a director. Yeah. Yeah. And that's a director. I think uh, Bob is. Bob yeah. is not here. Bob Harder. Correct. Used to be Emerson. Used to be Glenn Dean. Yeah. What's this called? As an emergency services disaster or something. Right? Crete is huge. Yeah. There's this. They come in handy for car accidents. Yeah. It's very big the inside side roads. They've got vehicles, trailers, I mean, they're, yeah, they're, they're pretty set up in that. You say it plain? Plants. Oh. Like, <laughs> like plants. <laughs> oh. So I, I just think for, for such a, a small dollar amount, I think it's, it's worth having. It's not just costing us a lot of money. It's, okay. you know, it's, well, we're, start, we're not going to vote on this or anything today. What are we getting for the money? I'm, well, you, when, you, when you're lost in the in the cornfield, yeah, we'll and come look. Somebody will find it. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> don't pay the money today. We're not gonna come look for me. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, depends how you vote. <laughs> <laughs> so, like I said, we, there's no reason to vote on. I mean, we're not gonna vote on this because it hasn't even been organized completely yet. But I just wanted to bring it up that it is in the works. I think the village will. You currently have the fire department though, don't Mike? So. I mean, you're paying taxes for the fire department. Fire department says they don't have jurisdiction on this. They do wherever they have the uh, fire protection district. And that's not what... Uh, not what you uh, might want to check into that. And then as far as the county, the county actually has the administration over the entire area. Now, you can actually provide your own search training, et cetera, et cetera, here. And then you should have took the NIMS already, basically, in order for you to be able to administer in, in, in case of a catastrophe. Now, you have one of the very rare area buildings in the area because you have a, a generator outside. 
Right. So the, the community building doesn't, I think the village has a mobile one. Or they have they a mobile one. Yeah. yeah, correct. And then uh, the uh, fire department, I believe, has one. So you're one of the only uh, emergency centers here. And this was set up too. Then the other thing that you want to consider is also the post office at that time. And this was set up originally a few years back for that. We actually coordinated with the, with the uh, post, office. post office. Because in, in time of catastrophe, you want to uh, enable people to resume uh, their normal lives as fast as possible, and therefore uh, the uh, post office. But you might give the county a call, because and if you need assistance on that, I'll help you. But you're going to find out that you're actually covered in a large area here. So. Right, but I think they're thinking the more lo a lo quicker locally. Quicker response time. Quicker response time because it's be a long way away from the equipment. Some of it's in Lennox, obviously. Yeah. Right. Well, where the not village has the equipment right over here. So. Well, keep keep in mind though, in an event of a catastrophe, that basically, like if, if a tornado will go through the village of Beecher, you're going to lose that. So you're going to need an outside entity inside of here. Mm -hmm. That's that's the thing. So at the site of your catastrophe, and then the other problem that you have in the village of Beecher is your elementary school is at the lowest point. In, uh, geographically in, in the village. So if you have a train accident or anything like that, because we're currently working on that right now with Washington, if you have a train accident where there's chlorine spill or something like that, your first responders you know, that actually live around here are going to be actually occupied with, with a whole lot of uh, things going on. And then once you check in with the fire department, you can find out the first responders won't go in immediately, that they should stay out, assess the, the damage, and then go in. It, it's, uh, I know the school has a disaster uh, evacuation plan already in place yeah. to get kids out of the schools. So, so I, we'll wait till they start meeting up, see what, what they say. But that, I just said I'd bring that up. Okay, that's the end of the supervisor report. Uh, trustees, anybody want additional reports? Um, I can give you a little update on the food okay. pantry. Last month we had uh, 27 families. Uh, for the lunch show up. Uh, getting ready for the holidays. Um, seems like it usually gets a little busy around the holiday season, so just kind of clearing out my shelves and getting ready for, we, we started getting a lot of donations around the holidays too, which is always nice. So, but uh, I'm just getting ready for the holidays. Okay. Anybody else? No? Okay. Uh, transportation. Uh, uh, Tuesday, um, myself and Teresa met with uh, Ad Creek, with Road Ride and, the, and Creek Township to just uh, kind of start initial uh, conversations with them. Um, they had uh, Nick Palmer and, w and Wendy Garlich were, were there, the, the Township Board, I think everybody from the board was there. No? There was no. one or two there, missing? There one was, missing. Um, there were two, two, there was two people, yeah, two, two missing. And, and then myself and Teresa. Uh, um, it, I, Teresa and myself had a, a number of questions. I, we got some answers. We didn't get every answer because they didn't have all the answers, uh, which I, which I, I, I can, I understand because you know they won't know answers until you know things get a little bit farther along. But I. I'll just kind of list some of the questions that that we had, and then what their answers. And one of the questions that that I had was how many buses would be uh, kind of designated for Washington Township, and they could not they couldn't give us an answer because that would be up to Pace. And apparently, Wendy says you can't really get a straight answer from Pace all the time. Um, we currently have or, or use three buses uh, on a weekly basis to go out. But whether or not we're going to get three buses to service this area is a big question mark because they don't really know. It, like I said, it's up to pace. Um, the buses would originate as they do right now for Will County for Will Ride um, from Alsip or South Cook they call it, but it's Alsip, so it wouldn't be up from here, it wouldn't be from Moni, it would actually be from from Alsip, and everything would be directed from Alsip to wherever they got to go in this area. Um, Let's see. Um, so the way that it, the registration go, our 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 seniors uh, would get registered here, um, so that we know who would be riding, so that we so that we 
we can verify who's writing. So they register here. Um, there's a form that they fill out, then we would have to send that form, the forms in, and then they, they put, um, I guess Wendy puts it into, uh, into their program, but that way we know who's writing and who's supposed to be writing and who's not supposed to be writing. So they register here first. Um, everything is scheduled through PACE and not through Will Write. So there must be a phone number or something that, that goes directly to PACE and then they schedule all the, all the rides. Uh, Will Write is kind of like the middleman. I guess they, they do the accounting, or the, I guess the accounting. Um, how everything is divvied out. So it, they do that part, PACE does the scheduling and, and, and the uh, transportation portion of it. Uh, there was a big, uh, there was a, a question that we had, so the service area, service area. So, so according to their, uh, the inner township agreements uh, for the townships that are already uh, with Will Ride, they said 10 miles from their borders is how far they would go outside of their borders. So the more townships you add to that link to that chain, you get another you get another 10 miles past that. So if if since we're the farthest east in Will County, now the border instead of stopping at um, well no it go it now it goes from state line it'll go 10 miles east into mm -hmm. Indiana and also go 10 miles south into Kankakee County. Um, now so then if you're in Beecher you could go as long as everything is kind of connected together you can keep going west um, as long as all the townships are kind of like touching each other. You can go another, and then another 10 miles past that is the idea. Uh, we asked about Silver Cross because we have a number of individuals who write our system that goes to Silver Cross Hospital. And they said that um, as right now they don't, their system has no one that goes to Silver Cross. Um, and, um, I, but I guess we can, they can go then, right? Yeah, the way she talked that, <clears throat> the way their 10 mile thing goes, right. it should be included. Oh, right. Um, so, I mean, whether or not, no, Maryville, which we have some people that go for, for uh, dialysis to Maryville, dialysis, that's, I think, more than 10 miles from here. They said they would work it out, I, so I don't care. I don't know how that would work. Yeah, Without breaking out, it, they said they would work it out. Um, we asked uh, Mike Lacar. I don't know. He, he kind of likes to. He kind of likes to run the show a lot. Um, I, he was trying to solve all all Will Rice financial problems or, or issues or or by himself, which I don't know why he was doing that, but. Did you get that kind of feeling? <laughs> yeah, and he wanted to make changes. He wanted to change everything and, and rewrite it, and I don't know why. One of his points was is that the area on aging money that is that was awarded to Will Ride, uh, which was one hundred thirty-nine thousand dollars, but since it's now a greater uh, proportion of people, that money would actually not go as far because there's more people than it would be when it, if it stayed in Crete. Washington Township because there's less people here and um, what Wendy was saying is that well they wouldn't spend all the money you can't have federal grant money and another federal grant used at the same time you have to use one or the other and you can't and she had a, a way of saying she wasn't going to use they weren't going to use like all the RTA money and then whatever stuff they were use the AOA money, or use all the AO, AOA money first, and then whatever's left over. They they kind of like spread it out. Um, he, he kept on making that point though that that the will the AOA money would not go as far with more people on the service. And I don't know how that works out. Um, the new freedom, the new freedom trips. I guess new freedom is money is no longer available, but it got, it got replaced from some other. Government entity five that had a number to it. Fifty three ten. Fifty three ten. Whatever that means, that is now replaced. New freedom monies. So, um, and I, I think Teresa had a 
couple other questions. I don't know if I answered all the or, or stated all the questions that we initially had. So we wanted to know how much it was going to cost per ride. And, and Wendy had a, um, a lot of, of paperwork that, that were um, from the months previous, you know, that um, June, July, August of, of a couple townships. And she said, "Well, this is this is what the costs are." And there's a lot of uh, there's operating costs, and then there's there's you, get, you have to pay for the call center, and and liquid liquidated damages. It was a credit and things like that. So, so she said, "Well, it would be close to this and close to that." So, and then it's fifty percent. There's an RTA match of fifty percent. So if their if their ride costs forty dollars, if a per ride was forty dollars, based on the fifty percent matching funds, then the ride is really only $20 to the township. So I, I went through and I looked, because it just so happens that for this month, or for this last month, Washington, Town, Washington Township had 196 riders. There was a total of 606 riders with the, the five townships that we do. Um, and we had 196 of that. In July, or I'm sorry, in June of 2015, Moni Township had 195 riders. It's almost, almost exactly the same as what we currently have. So they're, they're, the cost per trip for Moni was $39.14 for 195 rides, and, and that's with all their, their, their estimating costs and all that. And then with the 50% RTA match, it ends up being that Moni spent in June Nineteen dollars and fifty-seven cents. So their total for that month of June that was invoiced to the, or that need, they needed to remit to Will Wright was um, three thousand four hundred sixty-six dollars and forty-nine cents. If we base, if if we say that every month we're going to have one hundred ninety-six riders for the next year, um, I, I'm just assuming that it's going it to all these numbers would come out the same. Um, at nineteen dollars and fifty-seven cents, it would cost us uh, just over forty-six thousand uh, dollars to be in Will Ride. If the numbers stay the same for, the, for twelve months, yes. Will Ride restricted in the Will Township? Yeah, um, yeah, yes. They 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 have a budget, and then once they. When he says she figures out what, how long or how their budget would be dispersed throughout the 12 months, and that's how many rides per week or per month that are allotted for Moni Township. Um, they also, they are, and I, they, they do not drive anyone that's under 60 years unless they're disabled. Um, but I also, they also said that caregiver was also charged as a rub, or, or no, free. It's free, just right. Like caregiver is free. Uh, did you have any other questions that I need? Uh, the townships are the ones that make the decision if they want to right. right. Right, right. So, so we would have decision on what, how we want to do it, how, how much money we want to spend or not spend, or, and, and how many times, or whatever. It's, it's our decision, it's not there. But then who? Does Wendy have the decision, or when you get to that number, down? they call us? She said that they would call. She would call the township and say, "Hey, you're getting close to your allotment for the month, or whatever. Uh, what do you want to do?" But I mean, you, you use the person that uses it four times a week or three times a week versus it's the, taking it away from somebody. Yes, yeah, going down. I, I know. I, I mean, that, that that would be my first question as a taxpayer. Well, you know, my grandmother's going to use it, and you know, well, she was has an appointment on the 30th of June, yeah. and, well, no, I'm sorry, you can't do it, and that was the only ride my grandmother was going to do. I mean, I, su I suppose we could get as specific as saying individual A can only ride it three times, and individual B can only ride it four times or something. I, I suppose we could. Well, that's fair, right? <laughs> like exceptions that you can make are, like, subscription rides, which would be, like, dialysis rides. Mm -hmm. There wouldn't be a reason. We wouldn't want to reason. Yeah, well, yeah, we, yeah. So we would say if you're on dialysis, you could ride as many times as you have to ride. Yeah. I mean, you could make your restrictions. You could only go, say, shopping once a week. 
Mm -hmm. You know, that's a restriction. The way she talked that you could put on. And we put also to. Uh, the hundred and ninety five dollars. You you're basing it off of the total rights. Yeah, yes. in one month, but if we're going to limit it to 65 and older, yeah, well, I, you know, I don't have that right. I don't, well, I don't, I don't, I don't expect that right. I don't expect you to, but yeah. it might be less than 185. How many other people are using it? Oh, wait, is it on your show? It's on there. It's on there's there. area, it breaks it down by kind yeah, of here. Area, area and aging. We had 116 area, area and aging, which is seniors. Um, we had of the 196, we had 116. The next was the JARC, um, which, is, which is the job access. Right, job Reverse access community. return something. Reverse community. Um, and we had 31 of those people. What's NF? That's the new freedom that they. Oh yeah, that's right. They're cutting that out, but they're changing. It's getting funded by something else now, and we had 49 of those. So 116 seniors. Will Wright would just do it 60 and older unless you're disabled. Yes. So there will not, so our JARC riders and all, our, oh. they would not be able to ride Will Wright. Well, our JARC riders are disabled people that we have. Oh. That's the ones that we have that are JARC riders. Teresa, did she say she would take it out of the other, well, the money though, like the JARC? Well, because they have our Yeah, but like she, this is where, it, you know, the federal funding, you know, two different federal Correct. fundings. You can't, she, you can't, you can't take along. from both of them without proving it, but then she never went into exactly how she was going to, you know, how it would be broken out, how they can, you know, yeah. how it would be built out. Because you could take Rider A, and Rider A could be under the New Freedom, well, no. or whatever they call well, it, yeah. and Rider B could be under the other area on aging, you stretch out your dollars. And you need to ask, though, what the actual mileage of those trips, because those 195 trips, they could be different, you know what I'm saying? They might be 60 mile trips versus your trips of 20 miles, so. You mean for Moni or for us? Yeah, for you too. I mean, you need to. Well, yeah, I think, our, I think our mileage would be more because mm -hmm. we got people going to Maribel. Not very often in Maribel. Okay, but well, I mean, still, or, or Silver go. Cross. Yeah. yeah I, I, I don't know, and I don't, maybe she, she, had, a, she had stuff that um, was given out that was nearly unreadable. On these? <laughs> yeah. But they have to be very specific on it because that's federal money. They have to be very articulate. I mean, she had this thing here, but I, I couldn't <laughs> see this. And I don't know if that mileage is on there or not. I don't know what that is. How many fills are the writers? And there is a quantity of scale too, though, Mike. That if, if you don't have a side-by-side -side bus running, if the bus is running to the same area, so you need to ask that too about their destinations. You know, if their bus is running to the same spot you're running to, but, versus two buses is twice the amount. Right, and and like I said, they they uh, Wendy couldn't. She said I had no idea how many buses Pace would designate for out here. Whether it's one, and, and it's not a big, you know, it's not a school bus size, it's a, it's a regular van size, or, you know, what we got out here, so if that bus is full, then we would have to, I hopefully would get another bus, I mean, out here. I don't, I don't know exactly how that would work, you know, if, if in the morning, on a Monday morning, the, there's a full bus going out, and then, you know, Monday afternoon, there's, there's more riders that need to go out, whether or not we get another bus, I, I'm not sure. She was going to put together, um, she called her a performer, like an example of what our costs are, just kind of assuming some of the numbers that were on, that's on that sheet there, to see what our, our cost would most likely be. Um, but I, like I said, I, if we're, you know, around 100, 200 riders, I think it's going to end up being 19 bucks a ride. And I don't know how else the numbers would change. And what's already on it. Now you talked with somebody from Monee about this, right, Mike? Uh, did I talk to somebody yeah. from Monee? Yeah. No, I have not. Okay. I'm just curious, have, since Monee has gotten into it, has the cost gone down? Have they gone up? Uh, well, their, their ridership, for whatever, wait, that's, that's 
their their rides, and it, it maybe because it's the time of year or whatever, but they are they used to have a lot of riders, but now they're they're under two hundred. The bills that she gave us were for summertime, which always even when they rode with us went they were, down they were way because down? of the college okay. students not going. So for instance, this one here, which is August, August, Moni had 161 rides. And at 161 rides, it was $34.63, which comes out to $17.31 per ride for them, you know, for them, their cost. No, is every ride a, a set fee? You know, there's 17. If I'm going from from here to to um, Waltz, or if I'm going from here to yeah, it's same, the same price. Same. So if mileage has nothing, no, no. effect. In it. Okay, that's why my was just curious. And that's a one-way trip, right? Yes. So going Each back trip. home is same. Is an additional cost. Correct. Yeah. Isn't that bill monthly though? It can't be true, Jerry. I mean, it has to be billed monthly. This is billed monthly, yes. Correct, but it, it could vary month to month. Oh, yeah, yeah, it does vary month to month. So that $17 this month might be $18 the next month. Right, right. 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 So, so in August, they had, it was $17.31 in, um, in uh, well, I think, well, Ted's got, oh, here, in um, July of last year. I mean, the costs were more last year for whatever reason, but... Um, they were at um, twenty-five dollars a ride. And how many people? Two hundred and eleven. But that was last year. Their costs were more last year overall. Teresa, wasn't it prior to Frankfurt though? Once Frankfurt jumped in, then it reduced the cost. Well, Frankfurt, they didn't start right away, right? Correct. And then they were there for a while, and then they dropped out again. But now they're. Correct. Joining part of it back again. Correct. So that could be why the previous year was more. Can I ask you a question, Trace? What do you mean joining part of it back? Well, <clears throat> what Frankfurt's doing now is in last year they did, we did all, Will Wright did all of Frankfurt's rights. Now Frankfurt is going to do their in township rights themselves. Okay. Just their out of township okay. is going to go to Will Wright. Yeah. Right? Yeah, part, part, if it's feasible, the in township ones they'll run the same bus. Mm -hmm. But the, anything they they run like a taxi service, so that's what they run. Uh, okay, so unless any, unless Teresa, you got anything else to add on this? No. I, I just wanted to make a report. I wasn't really looking for discussion, <laughs> but I mean, I just wanted to make a report on it. Uh, okay, so that that's transportation. Um, General assistance, there were no cases in the month of October, so there is no report. And that is all the reports. Um, old business. Consideration approval of 2015 town levy ordinance. Um, I sent everybody a copy of the 2015 levy with a Zero increase from last year, it's the exact same amount that we levied last year. In fact, the, the numbers are exactly the same, all I did was change those. Are, are you capturing the new growth? Or no? I'm not even capturing the growth? But, you know, technically, Bob, you know, so we, we levied, let's say, 300, and was it 369000 or something? We levied for $369,000. And we didn't get 365, we got 362. Yeah. So if we levy 365 this year, it's, we'll probably get 364, 36. So you'll capture some of it. Yeah, so there could be a possibility of an increase. An increase, but we're not levying more money. Yeah, we're going through that at the county right now. Yeah. So. so I don't know, at 1.5%, I don't know why you <coughs> bother, but especially depending on services. You know, if you're going to cut services, you're going to with services, I don't know how you justify tax increase. But... Doesn't have to be approved today. I just put it out there. If you want to change the numbers, just I'll just change the numbers. It doesn't matter. If you hold it steady, you would cut the cost and make things a little more right. Let's say two percent on an average basis, nationwide average. Inflation is two percent. We don't raise our anything. We're spending less. Even with the same amount of money. 
Yeah, keep in mind, I mean, it's, it's, it's so complicated. You know, if there's any type of assessed evaluation at the county, there's any type of uh, reevaluating of the quadrennial assessments, things like that, that affects our levy as well. So even if you levy zero, it can still go up based mm -hmm. on what happens with the, with the supervisor assessments and what they do out there. I don't know how that formula works. I know how our formula works. I don't know how that works. But basically, what, what's happening out there is you can define it. You, you can actually define the tax increase any way that you like or a tax uh, that. Because currently, the Forest Preserve District, having voted yesterday, what they're going to do is they're going to actually go after new growth. So basically, because of the depressed valuation of the houses, they're actually just going to collect about the same amount of money. But true, now the Tea Party faction over there, true cutting your taxes is actually assess what you had last year, say that's what we want, but then you're going to have some people pay more and some people pay less. So it's, it, like Joe said, it is very, very, very complicated, but it's, it's semantics, how they actually explain it. So, but 0% levy or cut your levy, you know, so that's the other thing. That's the other option. That's their argument going right now in the county. And I'm a faction for, let's cut the levy. Let's truly spend less. So. Uh, so we have to have this approved by December, right? Uh, in this if we should latest. have it. Yeah, I don't know, if you don't approve it tonight, we need to do it the first meeting of December, otherwise you're going to have to have a special meeting because it has to be done by the last Tuesday of December. Okay. So you can think about it. Jerry, I don't know if Jerry's prepared for his budget tonight or not. If he's done anything with it or not. But it doesn't have to be done tonight. If that just gave it to you, that's where it's at. So what were the numbers that you came up with? Was one point like 1.66 or 1.10. Yeah, it's not much. It's under 2%. Actually, Jerry, I believe I have it. I think it was 1.68 if I remember. I don't know if I did yours. I have not I don't think I have a copy. It can be talking oh. about ours because you do your own. Yeah, you can bring it. No, there's from the next meeting. Yeah, you can bring it. So Jerry, you won't, you're going for 1.6 instead of zero percent? I don't know yet. No more than looking at the numbers of I mean, my feel my true feeling is, I mean if you you're in a spot that you had a, you know, in my spot if all the roads were done and I had money left over, but we're still we're we're still on a downward decline on on rides on roads. Uh, we still have people on stone roads. I mean that's you know trying to upgrade them to get and prices are going outrageous. I mean, yep. Oil went up, stone went up to uh, quite a bit, sixteen <coughs> percent. That's you know that's eighty percent of the road is or ninety percent of the road is stone. And you're just trying to maintain what you got now. So that's where we're weighing heavily on that. Just checking with the budget and see where we're at. So are we going to wait until next meeting to vote on this? Do we have Jerry's too? Or does it matter? No, no, we don't no, we'll have Jerry's. I don't believe. Well, I know we don't. He, yeah. Yeah, but he says it is, and that's it. Right. right. No, I, we could vote on this today. I like I got a motion that we accept the uh, a levy of zero percent. Mike, would you specify the dollar amount that's on that levy? Oh, okay. Three hundred sixty-five thousand three hundred ninety-nine dollars and zero cents. So that's zero percent. That's not one point six then, right, or one point two, Joe? That's the same exact amount as it was last year, Rob. So what's the percentage? Yeah, it's going to be, that's a little bit over our exact, you're asking what's exactly over last year's levy? Yeah. It's probably less than, I think we got 360. What's the percentage? One point? If not even, two. I don't even think it's one. It might be 0.75 okay. or something. Like okay. That. All right. I can figure it out. So. so is there a second to this motion? Second. Okay. Any more discussion? No, there was not. Mike Mack? Yes. Paul? Yes. Mark? Yes. Mike Stillwell? Yes. Ted? Yes. Okay. I'll need your signatures. I'm going to do it. 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 I'm going to do it.
I have two copies. All right, uh, number two, old business, Washington Township Transportation Service. That was basically was your report. Yes. So, as, as everybody well, that was at the uh, oh, yeah. last meeting, of course, we're going to continue with transportation until the end of the calendar year. Um, so that we can get all the answers that we can, that we is can possibly get. Is there another meeting scheduled with some these answers? Pardon? Oh, for Will Wright to come out and give you the answers? or uh, I don't think they're going to come out. I'd probably talk to them or email with them. Um, there is, and I forgot to mention this on my report, that uh, Wendy did email me an agenda for their um, Will County Paratransit Coordination Council meeting. Anybody? Can go. It's November 13th at 10 o'clock in the morning at the county boardroom. And on there, as far as their agenda goes, is uh, old business is the um, the area and aging grant funds appeal. Um, and then new business is Creek Township and Washington Township. So they're just going to probably report from the meeting that we had last time Tuesday. Are we going to have any? Discussion with Creek Township. In the I, future on this, or well, I, I most likely, I uh, as of as of today, there's not a, there's no oh, more in, uh, information. Um, I'm hoping that within you know by next week this time that we'll get this performer okay. this this thing, and I, I can talk to Creek again and see what their feeling is and what's going on. They 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 um they kind of. Uh, made a statement that they still feel, even when they were with us, that uh, paying all that much money for servicing maybe 80 people or 100 people did not so sound fiscally responsible for them. I'm not saying that's our point of view, but for them, spending they spent $50,000 last year. They budgeted 65, they spent 50, and for the 80, the 100 people that they serve. Okay. So I still don't know what exactly their, their feeling is. <coughs> All right, new business. Consideration of uh, and approval of plan commission recommendations. There is none. Number two, consideration approval of 2015 road district levy ordinance. We don't have anything yet, right, Terry? Okay, so that's it. I think it's going to move to the old business next year. Or next month. Consideration approval of joining Will Ride Transportation. We may keep that on the table. Though. Uh, okay, uh, payment. Oh, um, before we, I, I would like to, uh, for December's meeting, I'd like to move that if we could to the 10th. Uh, the 7th is actually the Chamber of Commerce uh, Christmas dinner, Monday the 7th. Yeah, and the and the 8th is our holiday dinner, so we wouldn't be able to set up the night before either. So right. So, if you, so the 10th, which is a Thursday, if that works, sir, but I'd like to move that meeting to the 10th. Or we could do a Wednesday, the, the 9th. I'm good with that. I know that. The 10th is good? I'm good with that. Okay, so, we'll, uh, so December's meeting will be December 10th, the Thursday. Okay. All right, so now we'll pay bills. Before you pay bills, I'd mm -hmm. like to mention something. I apologize, I was late at a county event tonight. Um, just Climby Road, Jerry, can in front of my house there, or can you fix that before the winter comes? Because I talked to Mark about it because it's loose. Yeah, I know he mentioned it to me. We have please. I'm just asking that. Yeah, no. That way, when because we kind of plow our road there, so I don't want to dig into it or nothing, okay. you know. So if you could do that before yeah. the weather sets in, appreciate right. it. I know the weather can start turning. Soon, so. Thanks, Mark. I did mention. I know you did. No, he, he, he mentioned it to me. Yeah, I, I just wanted to there. catch. I, I wanted yeah. to catch you in public commentary, but you know, it's. I know you've got a lot of stuff you're doing, but if you could just. Spray that stuff on there, whatever you guys do on there. Seal it up because it's it's starting to leach out of there now, or whatever's going on there. there. So after Mark mentioned, I went down here and I see. All right, cool. All right, thank you. Thank you. Gordon Bridge. Gordon Bridge. Okay. Look at sixty six eighty six. Sixty six eighty six. Sixty four four six.
Percentage of it that is actually because this building is split into three entities. Okay. So percentage of it is the rural highway departments. So this was a transfer of twenty-eight thousand back into the town. Okay. And actually, it was two thousand ten. I just turned it. I don't have to do what they put. And it was the entity. The school district paid off their portion years ago with uh, more fuel tax. State money that they had for transportation. So the school district is free and clear. It's just the low district, the township that is paying on the okay. School district had their own record. Uh 
that's a five-year deal, mm -hmm. isn't it? Yeah. It should be almost to the end of it. Anything else on Roden Bridge? I'm good. So we need a motion to. Uh, I'll make a motion we approve the bill for the Roden Bridge account for the month as presented for a total of $90,460.38. I'll second. Discussion? Okay. Yes, sir. Mike's the new one. Yes. Mark? Yes. Paul? Yes. Okay, count and count, please. <coughs> there was one. Oh, wait, that's, that was. Not on here, but I, I just I just signed it tonight. It was the it's a weird for transportation. Uh, Greenview Farms, they do oh. truck repair or bus repair. Rocky, he did the make the change to put new shocks and stuff oh, on. He it. did, huh? Yeah. When number three did that. <laughs> I mean, we used to give, guys, there was time back in 01 or 02. Everybody up at, at uh, Prairie Point got a nice hefty, it was like 75% 75, 75 reimbursement in year one, and it went down to 15 to 25 to 15. So, and that was to help those businesses in their first few years because they put a lot of capital out to build that building and invest in that program. So that's why that was like a wall sale. He meant the wall sale. That was a big thing too, is to avoid the tip. Because the, the village would tip it, and we would get nothing. So we figured we'd give something back, and so we get something in, you know, we get 50% more in. If they tip it, we don't get nothing. The, the school district is the only entity that has stood their ground and has not offered any kind of reimbursement at all. And I, I support that. I think that's the work that they do. Well, they did it for uh, Dutch America. Mm -hmm. Are you sure? Yeah, absolutely. Because they would not build it, he'd have built it elsewhere. I don't remember that. Yeah, they said no first and they changed oh, it. Oh, okay. Because I know when Tyler was with the board president, they were, they just couldn't justify it. Because the school district was constantly looking for funds. That's a different story for a little Okay, so we're looking at the town count. Ten minutes past uh, Paul's bowl at 8 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> I agree, they should never go more than one. It's a long poop entry report. <laughs> <laughs> Next month I won't say anything. Yeah, but it's just Okay, then I, 
Well, can we get what, four more years on it? Three more years? Actually, it's on here. If you look at the road bridge, you'll see, the, see the, the transfer. transfer yeah. The 28,000. Okay. Yeah. I just I just would have thought so this, this, this just reports the bills. This doesn't report any any debt, any credits. This is just the bill sheet. Okay. So that's what we're that's the All right. Okay. Then that. I'm and that's how. And we it might. Uh, this re, this balances with um, his report. Okay. We should have looking for. Any other discussion? Yes. Mike Mack? Yes. Ted? Yes. Mike Yes. 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 Okay. Senior movie night, November 18th. Long <coughs> ride. Sorry, <Carrying> somebody. <laughs> Not Tom Hanks. Not Tom Hanks. Anybody but him. But there'll be one coming up with him. Yeah? <laughs> oh, that's supposed to be a pretty good movie, though. Um, okay. Um, motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. All in favor. Aye. 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, sleep here. Yeah.